It's okay, Dylan. Daddy is running late, but he's gonna be here soon. Do you mind? I am terribly sorry. My son just um, doesn't do well in loud environments. It wasn't loud until you two sat down. I need to see the manager. Um, yeah, sure, very well. Hey, it's okay, baby. We're gonna get the chicken fingers that you like, the way they're here, you know? It's your special night. <laughs> Mr. Kinkle, is there a problem? There certainly is. We are trying to enjoy our meal, and we can't because that woman and her son are making all that racket. Sorry about that. Not as sorry as you're going to be if you don't move them to another table. Very well, Mr. Kinkle. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to have to move you to a different table. But I reserved this table specifically for my son. He's autistic and needs the corner table to keep him calm and relaxed. Just give him a few minutes to adjust, and I'll quiet right down. Apologies, but uh, we don't offer that option tonight. On your feet. Hey, we're going to get up and move tables, OK? Well, here we are. This isn't going to work. Well, your other option is to dine elsewhere. Why do we have to sit here? Take a guess. He's only acting that way because you brought us here where it's loud and busy. Sure. Autistic children require a specific environment to stay calm. That is why I reserved that table special. Well, you should have thought of that when, when you and your son disrupted Mr. Ginkle's dinner. You see, Mr. Ginkle is a very important customer in our restaurant. Mm, I didn't let him disrupt his dinner. I was working on soothing him when you moved us. Well, maybe it's not the noise or the table. It's your inability to control your son. Fine. My husband will be joining us, but he's running late. Hmm. I'll make sure he finds your table. Get them in and out of here as soon as possible. And I mean it. Evening, here are your menus. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna wait for my husband before we order. Uh, look, can you just order now? The quicker I get you both out of here, the less my boss is gonna ride me. Excuse me? Sure, let me just look at the menu. Believe this? Mm. Kind of a mother lets her son behave that way. Agreed. It's very rude. I mean, if you can't keep your kid quiet, why would you bring him to a place like this? Selfish. It's very selfish. Dylan, it's okay. Shh. <laughs> Miss, if you can't control your child, I'm gonna have you removed from the restaurant. I'm trying, I try harder! Thank you. And if he acts up again, I'm kicking you out of here. Looks like the iPad's a better mother than she is. That's for sure. Hmm. So, we are uh, ready or? Um, we are. Uh, my son is looking forward to the chicken fingers on a hamburger bun with honey mustard and lettuce. Yeah, no, we don't do custom orders here like that. We've had it before. I called earlier and asked if, if it was okay. Are you calling me a liar? What? No, no, not at all. I, it's just, that's the only way Dylan will eat the chicken fingers and because of his autism, he has a very specific and narrow Is there diet. another problem over here? No, Yes, I, there is. She's calling me a liar. All right, that's it. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I will not have customers belittling our staff. I am not belittling him. I am only saying that I called earlier about a custom meal and I was told that it wasn't a problem. I've heard enough. I want you to leave right now. Ever since your son 
arrived here, you've been nothing but trouble. Trouble? I only wanted to take my son to a nice restaurant for his 10th birthday. I don't want to hear anymore. I try to be nice to you, but I want you to leave right now. Deal with this. <laughs> Mr. Dawkins! There he is. It's so nice to see you. So what do we owe this pleasure? I'm here to celebrate, actually. Oh, exciting. You know, it's not often we have our esteemed owner just dining with us. I know, it's been too long since I've dropped in, but tonight is my son's birthday, and of all the restaurants I own, this one is his favorite. Oh, that is so wonderful. But know this, we are so glad to have you here. <laughs> well, this is great. So, um, when can we expect to see your son? Uh, he should already be here with his mother. I was running late and asked him to order for me, so. Oh, um, no one told me. Uh... Oh, yeah, my wife isn't one to make a big deal about it, so I'm sure she didn't mention who she was. She has her hands full enough with our son. He's autistic and she moves mountains to keep him happy and safe. Oh, <laughs> so that's, uh, well, you know, uh, we, um, we have not uh, seen any boys with their mother being seated yet, so uh, maybe they got stuck in traffic. Strange. She would have called me if she were running late. Emily? Oh, thank God. What's going on? What's wrong? You wouldn't believe what we've been through. Tell me. Well, first they made us move from the table in the corner that I reserved special for Dylan. Why? Some rude customer said that Dylan was making too much noise. Then after they forced us to move, the same couple made rude comments about my abilities as a mother. Who said that to you? And then the manager threw us out when I tried to get Dylan's chicken fingers the way that he likes them when we come here. Let's, let's, let's yeah. just wait a second it here because really it's... Go down like Are you just... calling me a liar? Okay, let's just... Can we just calm down here, okay? Nobody is calling anyone a liar. It's just a big misunderstanding. When you go out of your way to be cruel to a person who's just trying to care for their child, that's not a misunderstanding. You know, for the past quarter, I've been debating whether or not we needed new management in this establishment. Thank you for making me see that it's long overdue. Sir? You're fired. I... Oh. You too. I want you both out of here before I finish my next sentence. If I go. could just... Let's go. One moment, sweetie. I think it's best if you both leave this restaurant. Look, we've been coming here for a very long time. And now it's time to find a new place to eat because you're both banned from eating at any of my restaurants in the future. But you really ought to reconsider. We really love eating here. And I love my wife and son. Maybe you should have thought about that before you were so needlessly cruel to them. Come on, son. Let's go celebrate your birthday. <laughs> Mark, we're being robbed! Uh, uh honey, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not okay! They're taking everything! Do something! <laughs> it's, it's fine. Hey, hey. Um, I have some not-so-good news. Bill, my business manager, former business manager, scammed me out of a lot of money. What? How much money? Pretty much all of it. I had to shut down my company because I couldn't make payroll. Please tell me you're joking. I'm not. I, I wish I was, but it's, it's not just us. He, the jerk has been running a, a Ponzi scheme for years. He took millions off of all his clients. It's, it's, it's a nightmare. I have to sell the house, hmm? the, the cars, the jewelry. No, 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 no. There has to be a way we can get our money back. Uh, what about the cops? Uh, can they do something? Yes, and, and no, they, 
They arrested Bill, but he spent every last dime. There's no way he would get the money back. But bro, hey, 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 hey it's, it's gonna be okay. How? How, Mark? How is it gonna be okay? Listen, listen to me. With your love and support, I can rebuild back the fortune I lost. It, it, I did it before, I can do it again. We just need to buy some time. How are we supposed to buy time if you don't have any money? Well, we'll both have to find a job to keep us afloat. A job? I know. Oh, no. I know, I know. It sounds scary, but it's only temporary, okay? Listen, as long as we have each other, we can do anything together, right? There's nothing that can stop us. It's okay, yeah. There we go. Honey, you home? What's this? Good, you're home. Those are divorce papers I want you to sign. You want a divorce? Why? Because I can't live like this. What do you mean? I mean, I can't live like a poor person. Look at me. Look at how good I look. And you want me to work? Women like me are not supposed to work for a living. But well, we love each other. <laughs> you really think I married you for love? You're so naive. So, why did you even marry me in the first place? Because you were rich, duh. But now that the money's gone, so am I. Wait, 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 wait. We can, we can fix this. This is just a rough patch. Get out of my way. What about the vows? But you promised that you would love me for better or for worse, for richer or for poor. But did none of those things matter to you? Those were just words, Mark. No one means them anyway. If you walk out this door, don't you ever think about coming back to me when I get back on my feet. Because if you can't be here for me during the lows, then you don't deserve to be here with me during the highs. Wake up, Mark. You're broke. The highs are over. They're not coming back. And neither am I. Victoria leaves Mark to find a new rich guy who can give her the lifestyle she wants. After leaving Mark, Victoria began hunting for a new rich husband. One who could give her the kind of lifestyle she wanted. Finding men was easy enough for Victoria, but the men she picked either cheated on her or they turned out not to be as wealthy as she thought they were. It wasn't long before Victoria's savings started to run out and she was forced to do the one thing she swore she'd never do. Look for a job. Unfortunately, her lack of experience made it almost impossible for her to find work. After months of rejections, Victoria finally managed to secure a job working as a house cleaner. Hi, I I'm from Sunshine Cleaners. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot you were coming. Please, come in. I'm so sorry I'm scattered today. Uh, my husband called about an hour ago telling me to get dressed for a surprise date. Isn't that so sweet? Yeah, sounds great. Your husband must do pretty well for himself, huh? He does. I never thought I'd be married to a billionaire. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean for that to sound like I was bragging. No need to apologize. That's pretty amazing. I'm impressed, honestly. 
The best I could ever do was hook onto a millionaire. Hook onto? Yeah, you know, bagged a rich husband. How'd you do it? Uh, I think you've got me all wrong. I didn't marry my husband for his money. In fact, when we met, he was straight up broke. Broke? Yeah. Wow. Look at you. I have to be the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> Mark? Victoria? Uh, how do you two know each other? Sally, this is my ex. Victoria. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day that you would be a house cleaner. Or working at Hall, for that matter. Yeah, well, what happened to you? Last time I saw you, you were dead broke. Yeah. Well, you see, I hit rock bottom when you left me. I was devastated, broke and just ready to give up. But then by some miracle, I miss Sally. Things just clicked between us. It didn't matter to her that I couldn't afford to buy her fancy things or take her out to expensive dinners. She just loved me for me. Her constant love and support gave me the strength I needed to rebuild what I lost. But it wasn't just that. It was her smarts and her talent that helped my company grow even faster and bigger than I ever could have imagined. Without her, I never would have recovered from what you did to me. I never would have rebuilt my fortune and then doubled it. Without her, I'd just be lost. She's my whole world. Sally was there for me when I had nothing. So now she deserves everything. Aww, and so do you. I appreciate every moment we've had together. Whether we're poor or rich, it doesn't matter. Because as long as I have you, I have everything I need. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to hear that. And we should probably get going. I got us reservations at Bakari's. Bakari's? Oh my God, isn't their wait list like over three weeks long? Yeah, well, about that. I might have bought the restaurant so we can get a table and skip the line. <laughs> oh, still, oh. <clears throat> it was it was good seeing you again. We'll let you get to work. Mr. Klein has left his entire fortune to his wife, Abby. What? No, 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 that, that can't be right. You must have read the will wrong. I'm sorry, but it was very clear in regards to your stepmother. Do you dare call her that, okay? She's just some tramp. This was your plan all along, wasn't it? You suckered our father, made him believe that you actually loved him, when you really just wanted to steal our inheritance. No, that is not true. I loved your father dearly. Oh, please. Okay, a woman that looks like you does not just fall in love with somebody like our father. He was my everything. Oh, you mean his checkbook was your everything. You, you, you gold digger. Hey, hey, all right, let's keep this civil. Civil? Sit down. No, this harlot is trying to steal our birthright. You haven't heard the last of this, okay? We're getting our own lawyer, and we're getting what's rightfully ours. Let's get out of here. Abby, I'm sorry, are you all right? <laughs>
Uh, oh, oh here. I saw it first. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm just kidding. I want you to have it. Really? I can get it online. Thank you. <laughs> I'm William. Hi, William. I'm Abby. Good to meet you, Abby. Abby, you look kind of sleepy. I do. Would you like some coffee? They got some next door. <laughs> right? This is my absolute favorite book. I read it at least three times a year. Same. In fact, I wore out my last copy, which is what brought me here. <laughs> well, who doesn't love a good love story? But who do you relate to more in the story? The king who struggles to find true love? Or the peasant girl who falls for him without knowing he's the king? Both. That's what makes it such a timeless story. Even though he's a king, everyone can relate to a man who understands that no matter how much money you have, it's love that truly sustains us. It's love that makes life worth living. Very well said. I just think everyone wants to find that kind of love. Or at least, I hope. Here. We're here to give you one last chance to do what's right. Yeah, this doesn't need to get nasty, okay? Just give us back what is rightfully ours and we won't sue you. You guys have got me all wrong. Please, just look around you. This mansion is a big step up from that disgusting studio apartment that you were living in when you met our dad. So spare us the act. We both know that you were with him for his money. That is just not true. I never cared about the money. I still don't. Then prove it. How am I supposed to do that? Simple. Wire us the money that dad gave you. That way we'll know for sure that you actually loved him and not just his money. Great. I will email you our account numbers. really put away those ribs. <laughs> here you go. Really? There's gotta be a hundred dollars worth of food in here. <laughs> in fact, here. No, oh, it's too much. Please, I insist. Winter's coming. You can use it to buy your family warmer clothes. Thank you, miss. You have no idea what this means to us. <laughs> Always find new ways to amaze me, you know that? What's amazing about me giving a hungry family some food? Anyone would do that. Not everyone. And not just food. You gave them all your cash, too. And we both know you don't have a lot of that to spare. I know, but... What? No, never mind. What? Go on. I've always dreamed of opening a foundation that helps homeless people get back on their feet. Really? Yeah. What inspired that dream? When I was a little girl, my dad lost his job and we had to live on the streets for about a year. Why haven't you ever told me these things? It's embarrassing. But if it weren't for the kindness of strangers, we never would have made it. So that's why I always help others whenever I can. I'd love to do it full time. But, who am I kidding? <laughs> Mm. 
Abigail Thomas, I've never met anyone who loves with her whole heart the way you do. Would you do me the honor of marrying me? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, I love you. Oh. Good. <laughs> I think it's about time I showed you something. This is your house? I thought you were just a construction worker. I was. Now I own the world's largest construction firm. What? You're a billionaire? Guilty. <sighs> Why are you upset? You've been lying to me. It was wrong of me. <sighs> Forgive me. It's just that after I made my fortune, it seemed like people only wanted me for what I could do for them. It's caused me a lot of heartache in the past. But you, you fell for me because of who I am. And I didn't want to risk that. Is that what happened with your ex? I made the mistake of marrying a woman who only loved me for my money. And unfortunately, my children inherited her attitude. When they look at me, they don't see their father. They see a walking ATM. I was afraid that once you learned the truth, you might start treating me differently too. I don't care about how much money you have. I care about what's in here. Promise me you'll never lie to me again. It's the only way our marriage will work. I promise. And I want you to promise me anything that you'll start that foundation you've always dreamed of. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea. And I want to help you get started. You. <sighs> After dinner, I'm taking him to the library where we first met. The author of our favorite book is doing a reading. He's going to love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Dad, uh, William's here. I guess he forgot his keys. Okay, bye. Mrs. Klein. Yes, is there a problem? I'm afraid it's your husband. He was in a car accident. He was struck by a drunk driver, and I regret to inform you he didn't make it. Four hours and you still haven't transferred the money. Looks like we were right. You did only love our father for his money. Let me ask you both something. What would you do with the money if I did give it to you? Well, I already have an order placed for a Maserati. It's limited edition. And I've always dreamed of having a beach house in Greece forever. In fact, my real estate broker just put an offer on a property this morning. So. Hmm. And do you know what your father would have done with the money? I don't know, probably something boring. He's gone, who cares? I care. And I know what he would have done with it. You see. And... Open your eyes. Ta-da! <laughs> Thank you.
Hey. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just so grateful for you. It's just a t-shirt. <laughs> no. No, you see, all my life, I wanted to find a way to use my money to help the world. But I never knew how to go about it. Until I met you, you showed me how to make that happen. And it feels better than I ever imagined it could. So you see, your father wanted to find a way to make this world a better place. And I'm going to make sure that happens. Every dime of his money is going to help families in need. We are a family in need. You have not heard the last of this. I wanted to thank you. Foundation got me a suit for my job interview. And guess what? I got the job. Now I can get my family off the streets. All thanks to you. My husband is the person you really should be thanking. Without him, none of this would have been possible. You changed my life. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm so happy for you. What am I doing? My job as a parent, young lady. Tyler, I'm so sorry. I will be right back. Where do you think you're going, young lady? Away from you. I can't believe you were spying on my dates. I was just trying to keep you safe. Safe? Yes, and I'm glad that I did because that perv was about to take advantage of you. You do not know what you're talking about. Tyler is the sweetest boy I've ever met, and he was just putting his arm around me. Yeah, well, that's how it starts. <laughs> you're impossible. You know what? You can be mad at me all you want, but you're the one who lied to me today, young lady. You said you were going to Jessica's. Because I knew what you have said if I had told you I was going on dates. Darn right you do. I would have reminded you of my number one rule. No dating until you're 25 or have a college degree. Hmm? Okay, back up. How did you even know I was here? I tracked your phone, like any good mother would. That is such a violation of my privacy. Sweetheart, I am just trying to protect you. No, you're smothering me. I'm 18, and sooner or later you're gonna have to start trusting me to make my own choices. Trust you? Once again, you lied to me. Because I knew you'd overreact. That does not make this right, Jasmine. Jasmine, I'm not bail. I'm sorry. Uh, no, Tyler, please don't go. Look, Jasmine, I like you a lot, but your mom's crazy. Bye. See what you did? Yeah, I did you a favor. He wasn't right for you anyway. He's perfect, Mom. And you just ruined it, just like you're ruining my life. Come on, let's go. What, no, where? I am taking you to Grandma's house because after the stunt you just pulled, I am not going to risk leaving you home alone while I go out on my date. Seriously? I don't need a babysitter. I am legally an adult. <laughs> not while you're still living under my roof, you're not. Come on. Chop, chop. Let's go. Oh, there she is, the world's best granddaughter. <laughs> What's got into her? <laughs> you know how teenagers can be. Uh, would you like something to eat? Oh, no, I can't. Jackson's taking me to dinner tonight. And I hate to drop a run run, but I really have to get back and get dressed before he picks me up. Oh, it sounds like things are getting kind of serious with this Jackson guy. Oh, Mom, he is so wonderful. Literally the most perfect man I have ever met. 
And I don't want to jinx it, but I think he might be the one. Oh, that's so lovely, <laughs> dear. You go ahead then. Don't keep him waiting. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Sweetie, what's wrong? My mother's ruining my life. That's what's wrong. No, no, that can't be true. It is, though. She spies on me and humiliates me in public. Do you know what she did tonight? She ruined my date with Tyler. Grandma, he's the most amazing guy that I've ever met, and now he thinks I'm a freak because my mom is crazy. I do everything right. I get good grades. I got into a great college, and I never get into any trouble. But she still doesn't trust me. It's not fair. Sweetie, she just loves you. I know she loves me, but she is suffocating me, and I can't take it anymore. What should I do? Well, We could give her a taste of her own medicine. Jackson, you crack me up. <laughs> Good, because I love that smile of yours. Aw. <laughs> oh, and to think I was giving up on finding the perfect man. And then I found you. Trust me, I feel the same way, Karen. <laughs> you are incredible. Keep your grubby little hands off my daughter. Mother, what are you doing here? My job as a parent. I was worried about you, and so I decided to size up this date of yours with my own eyes. And I'm so glad that I got here when I did, because this weirdo was just about to take advantage of you. What? Don't be crazy. Jackson has been nothing but a gentleman. Jackson, I apologize. Please excuse me for a moment. Mother. Mother. I do not know what's gotten into you, but you need to leave before you ruin my chances with Jackson. I'm not leaving. I'm staying for dinner. What? No, you are not. This is a public place. You cannot stop me. I'm going to have a lovely meal, and I'm going to keep an eye on you to make sure that you are safe. I'd like a table, please, for one. Absolutely, right this way. Oh, excuse me. I want to sit over there. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Jackson, I am so sorry. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> that was my mother. And apparently she too is having dinner here tonight, but I hope she didn't scare you off too badly. Well, I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Look, I know she can come across as quite overbearing, but she means well. Uh. Why? Don't we just ignore her? Just pretend like she's not here. And then I know we can salvage this date, okay? I'm always up for a challenge, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we did more than salvage that date. <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> Are you still up to coming over to my place, watch a movie tonight? Absolutely. I told you he was a weirdo. Mom! You know what? This isn't working for me. Karen, you are wonderful, but I can't handle this. Jackson, please, no, wait! I'm sorry! Mom, what was that about? I'm not going to apologize for trying to keep you safe. Who knows what that man would have done if I didn't show up? Safe, mother. I am a grown woman. I can take care of myself. I disagree. And that's why I'm going to keep a stronger eye on you as we move forward. What has gotten into you? Why can't you just trust me? Gee, I don't know. Why can't you just trust me? What is going on here? We're just giving you a little taste of your own medicine. Guys, this isn't a game. You just made me lose my chances with Jackson, and he was perfect. And Tyler was perfect, too. 
but you spied on me, embarrassed me, and then chased him off. All because you don't trust me, which is crazy because in the 18 years of being your daughter, I have never once given you a reason not to. She's right, Karen. At some point, you have to let go and just trust that you've raised a beautiful, intelligent, responsible young woman who's gonna make the right choices. Just like I needed to when you were her age. Mom, you're so right. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know why I was such a horrible mother. No, you're a great mother. I know you love me. I just need you to have a little faith in me, that's all. I do. I have so much faith in you, my perfect little girl. <laughs> and I promise from here forward, I am gonna trust you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. It is. <laughs> <laughs> How about we go outside for a walk? Sounds perfect to me. <laughs> Class, I'd like to introduce our new student. Her name is Hannah. Why, she got a box on her head. Well, I'm sure she's just a little shy. It's her first day out. That's not normal. What's she hiding? Is she, like, really ugly or something? <laughs> okay, stop it, Abby. Come on, Mrs. Johnson. You can't seriously think I'm the one with the problem here. I'm sure we can all agree that girl's a weirdo. Okay, that's disrespectful. Sweetheart, do you want to go ahead and take a seat? Toodaloo. Mr. Lee, when I had heard that Hannah was wearing a box, I thought it was temporary. You know, a fashion statement that these young girls go through. I didn't realize it was going to be permanent. She used to wear a face mask at home. The box thing is new. But I'm still hopeful that this is all just a phase. Well, if it's just a phase, then she's welcome to come back anytime. As it stands right now, this isn't going to work. I am very sorry. Just her wearing the box for one day created such a stir that I couldn't get half of my lesson plans done. I'm sure you understand. I tried to explain it to Hannah's therapist. I, I tried to keep Hannah in homeschool for this reason, but she insisted that I try and socialize her with other kids. Sir, if you don't mind me asking, what started all this face covering? An experience that traumatized her a few years ago. You see, Hannah used to be such a lively and confident girl. One day, she even met a boy named Alex. From that point forward, all she did was talk about this boy. I just thought it was young puppy love, so I didn't think too much of it. But I had no idea what was going to happen next. Hannah decided to tell Alex she liked him in front of some other kids. Hi, Alex. I like you. You're ugly. She was so hurt by those words that she refused to even look in the mirror anymore. The only way she'll even talk to anyone now is if she covers her face. So you see, it's all because a young boy called her ugly and she believed it. That's what really breaks my heart. I wish you knew how beautiful she is. I am so sorry, sir, that Hannah has gone through all of this. I hope the therapist's advice to put her in a new environment could help. It's better than her being glued to her blog on her computer at home all day. 
But either way, I understand. Thanks for your time. Mr. Lee, I'll find a way to make this work. Tell Hannah I'll see her tomorrow. Hey, butterflies. Today was super tough. A lot of kids laughed at my box. You know, the one I wear because I'm scared to show my face. I felt so small, and I just wanted to fly away. But then I thought of you guys, my amazing community. We're all unique butterflies, right? Everyone's got their own box or thing they're self-conscious about. My dad always says to me, a butterfly doesn't need to be told it's beautiful. It just is. That's why he calls me his butterfly. Maybe one day I'll believe him. In the meantime, stay strong and keep fluttering. One second. Hey, butterfly. Do you have a sec? Listen, honey. I just wanted to let you know that you're still going to school tomorrow, okay? What? No, Dad, please. You don't understand how mean those kids were to me. I just want to be homeschooled. I'm sorry, sweetheart. But one day you'll understand. This is to help you. How is me getting made fun of going to help me? So you guys think Abby's the hottest girl in school? Bro, without a doubt you're dating the hottest girl. Yeah, she's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> no way. Oh. And this whole time, I thought the rumors about the box-headed girl weren't true. <laughs> Freak. What secrets are you hiding under here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting you leave until you show us what's under the box. I'm serious. Mm. It's either that or I dump this whole water bottle on your head. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Three, two, one. Hey, leave her alone. Oh, look at this. Another masked loser. <laughs> you guys related or something? <laughs> Babe, come on. You know I can't be late again. I'll be waiting for you after school so we can finish this. And you, have some water. No, stop! Stop! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're, you're. I know. I'm ugly. <gasps> oh, what a surprise! Box set is back. Come on, Hannah. Let's box. I almost forgot. I got you a little present. Now you're ready to be shipped off to another country. <laughs> Good morning, class. Sorry I'm late. What's so funny? All right. Well, in today's lesson, it will require all of us to think a little differently. Uh, sorry, but I don't think Hannah's gonna be able to do that. And why is that, Abby? Well, she has a hard time thinking 
outside of the box. <laughs> All right, enough. Back to the lesson. Come on, Jason! Come on! Come on! Oh! 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 Get him! Get him! Come on, Jason! Yeah. 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 Take off the box and I will. I gave you a chance. Now he's gotta pay. Okay, I will. Just just stop hitting him. Wow. Wow. You're pretty. Stop teasing me! Okay, yeah, let's go home. Uh, see ya. See you. Hey, butterflies. Today, the craziest thing happened. I had to take my box off. Long story, but the crazy thing is, when I did, this boy, he called me something I could never believe. He called me pretty. I'm sure he was just saying that to tease me, but I couldn't help but wonder, you know? I haven't looked at myself in the mirror in years. I don't even remember what I look like. So I decided I'm going to post my first picture here to let you all see what I look like. And I know you guys will tell me the truth, so here goes nothing. There's a boy here to see you. I just came to tell you that I'm sorry. To be honest, I don't know why I said what I said. I guess back then, it wasn't cool for boys to like girls. I really didn't mean to hurt you. So instead of calling you pretty, I said you're ugly. Just so you know, I think you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I understand you hate me, but I wanted you to know. Oh, and here, I got you something. Take care. Butterfly, I know you've been through a lot the past couple days. So I decided it's okay for you to go back to homeschooling. I'm going to ask my boss if I could work from home again. Hannah? My knuckles are a little red, but um, that's about it. Bro, I 
still cannot believe how hot Hannah is. I mean, she's like a 10.5. Or maybe, maybe even an 11? Yeah. <gasps> hey, uh, Hannah, I feel like we may have gotten off to a bad start. I'm Jason. Is it okay if I sit? I just. What uh, are you doing? Talking to her? I, uh, I, I wasn't. I was um, just uh, asking where her dumb box went. Stay away from Jason. To be honest, you look better with the box on. Is that why your boyfriend just started sitting with her? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay if I sit? I promise I won't say anything mean to you. Come on. Ugh. Why do you keep staring at her? Ow, I'm not. I literally just saw you. Come on, man. I'm gonna be late for this meeting. Oh. Oof. Did you crack the screen? Yeah. That sucks. You got some bad luck. You never know what's good luck or bad luck. Sometimes things turn out to be a blessing in disguise. How is cracking the screen on your phone a blessing in disguise? Someone's got to screw loose. What? What? You see what's going on here? <laughs> is it me? Is it me? Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? We were here waiting way before she was. I'm sorry, sir. Your car's next. I'll go grab it right now. Oh, thank you. Got one job to do, man. Can, can this day get any worse? You know, maybe it's a good thing that he didn't pull your car up first. Here we go. Here we go. Look, there's no way that you're going to convince me that me missing a meeting is a good thing. OK, lady? What are you, like one of these like spiritual people that believes? Oh my God, that, that could have been me. Wow. You weren't kidding. She's gorgeous. I know, and she's so smart and successful. A little old fashioned, but it's hey. okay. Can't wait to finally meet her in person. She says she's wearing a red dress. Oof. Feel? My, aren't you a dapper young man? I must say, you're even more handsome in person. Uh, Stephanie? Yes. Uh, you, uh, you, you, you don't, you, you, you don't look nothing like your photos up here. You look younger. Oh, well. The app said to upload my best pictures. So I used ones from my 20s. Your 20s or the 20s? Uh, um, look, Stephanie, I... Oh, please, call me Steph. Uh, okay. Steph, I'm so sorry, but uh, I don't think this is gonna work out. Is this because... I'm a little... A lot. ...older than you expected? You need to remember that age is but a number. <laughs> age is but a number. <clears throat> Maybe to you, um, but when I see you, I think about my grandma. And uh, I don't want to be dating my grandma. And so, um, best of luck to you on the app, though. And, um, Maybe you should change that photo of yours into something more recent. I got all dressed up for this. The least you could do is buy me dinner. I got you, I got you. Oh, jeez. I can't believe I just got catfished. Well, yeah, well, look at it this way. Maybe this was a blessing in disguise. Oh, uh, don't you patronize me. Do you know how much I pay for this suit? And uh, I drove all the way down to the city and paid $20 for parking. And for what? 
I could have been home in my PJs, relaxing. I am not patronizing you, I'm serious. Look, I recently just learned what you might think is bad luck may actually be good luck. Are you really trying to find a silver lining of me being catfished? You know, that sounds so stupid, just like that old lady. Is this seat taken? Oh, no. Not at all. Uh, it's all yours. I really like your suit. Uh, this whole thing, it's, it's new. <laughs> um, but I wasn't so sure at first. Are you waiting for anyone? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Good. Neither am I. I'm not gonna say I told you so, but aren't you happy that you're not at home wearing your PJs? Have fun. Bobby! Theo, mm -hmm. this is my bestie, Becca. Becca, this is the guy that I was telling you about. All good things, I hope. She told me you were a total creep. I kid, I kid. <laughs> she said you're absolutely adorable and that she made the first move a little lame on your part. But I get it, Kim is gorgeous. So I could see how men could be intimidated to make the first move on her. Becca. What? I'm just being honest. All right, French vanilla latte for Paige. Seriously? I ordered my coffee way before she did. I should have gotten mine first. That's so dumb. Well, who knows? Maybe it's good luck that you didn't get yours first. Okay, now that's the dumbest thing I heard all day. Be nice, Becca. I'm just saying, how could it be good luck? <gasps> oh my gosh, I just burned my tongue. This latte is way too hot. I'm, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I put it on the wrong setting. Uh, ma'am, are, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I just burnt my tongue. You know, you would really think that you have some sort of responsibility to your customers to make sure that they're okay. Okay, well, maybe what you said wasn't so dumb. <laughs> Good um, work, Grace. Welcome. Uh, uh, did you have a reservation? Yes, it's under Giovanni. <laughs> Here Thank you. Are. We're so excited. We hear wonderful things. Oh. Yes, right this way. Yeah, after Thank you, you, my beautiful <laughs> wife. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Sure, love. <laughs> and your server, Lydia, will be right with you. Thank you so Enjoy. much. Enjoy. Thank you. Good evening. How are you both doing tonight? Very well, thank you. It's date night. Oh, how fun. Mm -hmm. um, have you dined with us before? Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. If you would just excuse me for one moment. Is everything okay? Hello, no. Look at my face. I had a living reaction to your food. I specifically asked for no sesame seeds. I am so sorry. I told the kitchen myself and I made a note, but the chef must have missed the note. Um, what is going on over here? The chef missed the note about the sesame allergy. Are you saying my chef made a mistake? Um, yes, because he did. You can check the order. I wrote it down. Rat! Come here! Did you see a note about a sesame seed allergy? Nope. Hmm. Well, that settles it. You're fired! What? No, you can't do that. That is completely unfair. Yeah, well, my restaurant, my rules. Are you kidding me? No, please, look at the note. I mean, I have bills to pay. I have my student loans from culinary school. This is completely unfair. If you would just look at the note. Do it look like I care? Now, you just take off that apron and get out of my restaurant. Get! My apologies. Of course the meals are on the house. Thank you. I cannot believe that I just caught fired. I. I have rent coming up next week, and my student loan payments are coming up again. And this is so unfair. I must have the worst luck in the entire world. Well, maybe in a weird way, you getting fired was actually a blessing in disguise. Really? And how exactly would me getting fired be a blessing in disguise? Excuse me, I'm so sorry for interrupting, but I overheard that you had gone to culinary school. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, my dream was to be a chef. 
waitressing is just a temporary thing. Good, good. I guess the uh, stars must be aligning because I am opening up a new restaurant and we are looking for a, a good chef. Um, I overheard what happened earlier, so I'm so sorry for that. Uh, here's my card. If you want to give me a call in the morning, we can set up a meeting. I mean, that's if you're interested. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Yes, um, yes, thank you. I will definitely be giving you a call. You're very welcome. The lady said a lovely evening. Hey, I've got an Uber on the way to take us to the hospital. See? You getting fired was actually good luck. Now you can do what you've always loved. I mean, being a chef? You're right. I guess that things that seem like bad luck sometimes are a blessing in disguise. Oh, hey, it's here. Let's go. I can't believe that waitress. You don't know if it's her fault. She said she had the allergy down. Regardless of whose fault it was, look at my face. I, I have things to do. I don't have time to be sitting around in a hospital room. Look, I know you're upset, but maybe this is a good thing. Have you seen me? I know, I know. But back at the restaurants, the waitress who got fired seems like she may be getting a better job. Just trying to look on the brighter side. I don't think there is a bright side to this atrocity. Here is your medication, Ethan. Thank you. Just take those as instructed on the bottle, and everything should clear up in the next 48 hours. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Park. Thanks. Of course. And I'm actually really glad you came in, Ethan. Why is that? Well, while I was going over your blood work, we found some abnormalities in your white blood cells. What? Okay, okay what does that mean? It looks like you have cancer. What? Wait, I have cancer? I know it sounds scary, but the good news is that we caught it really early, so you're going to be fine. Thank goodness you came in today. If you hadn't, it could have been quite the opposite story. There you go. You're all set. Hi there. Hi. What can I do for you today? Um, I accidentally dropped my phone and cracked the screen. Do you think you could fix it today? It, it's under warranty, so. Ooh, uh, unfortunately, we're all out of these screens at the moment. OK. Which means, since this wasn't your fault, I'll give you a free phone upgrade instead. How's that sound? <laughs> Sounds like a blessing in disguise to me. I'll be right back. OK, thank you. What do you mean I didn't make a team? That's all you have to say? Oh, I can't believe this. I seriously have the worst luck. We did it. We did it. <laughs> We're going to be parents, Rose. Oh, my parents are so excited about this. Hey, do you want to call anybody from your family? No, I don't care about them. I just want to hold my baby. Do you see how the pupils are constricting? Is something wrong? Uh. We're not sure yet. Your baby seems totally healthy, but we're just going to run a few tests on the vision because we're a little concerned. The pupils aren't reacting well to the light. Well, I, I don't understand. The doctor just said before I went into labor that we had nothing to worry about. Well, not all issues can be detected early on, not with 100% confidence anyway, including blindness. But let's not get worried or ahead of ourselves. We don't know if anything's wrong for sure. And other than that, everything looks great. How can you tell me not to worry when you just said my daughter is going to be blind? How would something like that even have happened? Well, there are lots of possibilities. Um, infection or vitamin deficiency, birth injury, genetics. Genetics? This is all your fault. My fault? I don't have any blindness that runs in my family. I... Please try not to panic. Do you want to hold your baby before we run the tests? Well, we'll talk about this after we get results. We'll be back as soon as we can, yeah? Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Honey, let's not point the fingers. Besides, if they find something, we're still gonna love our baby. Right? 
My How are we? Oh, so good. <laughs> She's perfect. Good job, Mama. Oh, my sweet, sweet girl. I love you so, so much. It doesn't seem like she's completely blind, but in time, it will get there. Ugh. I really don't want to be the one who has to tell Mrs. Anderson any bad news. Well, we'll do a couple of checks, and then we can talk to her. Oh, shoot, I forgot my badge. Can you tell her, though, if it turns out the baby is blind? Who's my healthy baby? Oh, my healthy, perfect baby. My precious Olivia. Are you ready? Wait. Let me just put this on her so we always stay connected. Here we go. Hi, little girl. I'll be right back with her. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am. Only hospital personnel pass this point. Oh, of course. Oh, nurse? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Nurse Williams, please report to the obstetrics ward. Nurse Williams, you're needed in the NICU. Thank you. Thank you. You can come. We'll finish up when you get back. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, uh, sorry. I uh, was just tying my shoe. I'm sorry. I'm new here. I need to take this baby in for more testing, and I can't find where to go. Oh, is that the Anderson baby? Let me check the wristband. Yes. Are you their nurse? Uh, yes, actually I am. I I'd be happy to take her for you. Great. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Nurse. I need to log some information. We'll be right back. I need you to keep an eye on her for me, please. Rose, where have you been? Oh, I just went to get some fresh air. I couldn't handle all the stress. But you know what? I think it really helped. I think everything's gonna be okay now. You know, I realized that no matter what, every child has to be loved unconditionally. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, we ran a test, and it did seem like your daughter had some issues with her vision. Strangely enough, we ran some more tests, and she passed with flying colors, so there doesn't seem to be anything wrong. My gosh, this is great news. <laughs> this is great. You know, being honest, in all my time, I've not seen anything like this. Well, it's a miracle. That's what it is. It sure is. So I'll just go and get her and bring her. Oh, I almost forgot her necklace. Please don't keep it on her when she's sleeping. It's a choking hazard. OK. How did she get this? Oh, uh, I got it. When I was out just now, I, at a little concession stand. OK. Uh, Olivia. You named her Olivia? Uh, yeah. I, I thought that would be the perfect name for her. Yeah. It's only half of a heart. Where's the other half? Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but I will. I, I'll just get it online <laughs> so we can match. I'm so glad she's okay. Can you imagine raising a child like that? <gasps> Grandpa, hmm. can I put lipstick on you? No, sweetheart. Grandpa does not want any lipstick <clears> on. <throat> yeah, that would be fine. Oh, she's growing up so fast. Does she get her eye color from Rose's mom or dad? From what I hear from her relatives, neither. I mean, her dad, as you know, passed away a long time ago. I've never met her mom. It's like Rose and her mother don't seem to have a relationship at all. 
I wonder if that's why she didn't want a wedding. Have you met Rose's family? Uh, no, I have just a couple of cousins and aunts and uncles. Here they are. Hmm. Well, doesn't look like Olivia gets her features from Rose's side of the family. I don't think I have anyone with light hair or eyes on my side. Do you, Patrick? No, I, I can't think of anyone on my side either. Grandpa, stop talking. Oh, sorry, Princess. That's odd. Are you sure she's yours? You should take a paternity test. Maybe she's the mailman's daughter. Come <laughs> on, Mom. Why would you say something like that? I'm only joking. It is strange, though. I always felt there was something a little off about Rose. No. This is ridiculous, Marcus. You're the father, and it breaks my heart that you don't trust me. I do trust you, but none of this makes any sense. What? What doesn't make sense? She's our child. She always has been. And I can't believe you'd think anything else. Thanks a lot for ruining my night. All right, so what are we thinking? Chocolate, strawberry. Strawberry! Strawberry. That's it. Oh, I, I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like it's the last one. So. Oh, no, take it. No, it's fine. Really? Yeah. Thank you. It's actually for my daughter's birthday tomorrow. She's turning 11. I can't believe how fast time flies. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. That's it's weird because it's actually my daughter's birthday as well tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, uh, where is she? Uh, yeah, mine is always running off with her grandma. Hey, Olivia. Olivia! Whoa. Your daughter's name is Olivia, too? <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> same name, same birthday. Wow, were you going to tell me next that she was born at John, John Green, Green Hospital? Hospital? Wow. Daddy, Daddy, can I get this, please? Yeah, sure. Um, Just give me one second, OK? OK. All right. Um, By any chances, you're Daughter. Uh... There she is. Hi, honey. Mommy, can I get frozen yogurt? Do you think you could take her? Let's go, dear. Um, <laughs> um, this is going to sound a little weird, but I was, um, does your husband have like dark hair, dark eyes, or? Um, Ex-husband, actually, and no, no, he has lighter features like mine. I don't know where she gets it from, to be honest with you. I, I'm sorry for, for asking so many questions, but uh, has, has she always been... Blind? Yeah. Um, it wasn't 100% at first, but it's degenerative. Yeah, I don't know. The weird thing is, when she was first born, all the nurses said she was completely healthy in every way, but once I took her home, that's when it all changed. I don't know, it's almost as if... Oh my gosh. Your pennant. Uh, hi. Was everything all right? You know, the strangest thing happened at the grocery store today. I bumped into a woman who looked exactly like our daughter. Okay, so? It wasn't a big deal until I met her daughter, who looked exactly like me. I don't know where you're going with this. Tons of kids have dark hair and dark eyes or don't look like their parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's, uh, there's more. Her daughter, whose name is Olivia, was born the same exact day at the same exact hospital. Plus, she's blind. Just like the nurse initially thought our Olivia was going to be. Is there a point to this story? Because I'm tired and I want to relax. Oh, yeah. I'm getting there. But the next part, it's really bizarre. You know that heart pennant that our Olivia has? The one that you said you were going to get the other half, but then they stopped manufacturing it? 
Yeah. So this woman has the same exact heart pendant, but she said it got lost at the hospital. So, is there something that you want to tell me, Rose? About what? Oh, I don't know. About what happened that day in the hospital? Something that you did? You know what? This is ridiculous. I am so sick and tired of your constant accusations all the time. Olivia is our daughter. You are her father. Is that right? You remember the paternity test that you threw out in the garbage? Well, I took it. And it turns out I'm not the father. So one of the two things is the truth. Either you cheated on me or you just- I switched the babies, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? But it doesn't even matter now. Olivia's our girl, we raised her, and nothing's gonna change. Are you insane, Rose? You took that girl away from her real mother. Well, it wasn't fair. Why did we have to get stuck with a- No, mother? don't you even try that. Don't you even try that because we would have loved her. No, I wouldn't have. Because I've already been through something like this and I was not gonna do it again. You see, the reason I don't ever talk about my mom is because, well, she's blind. Growing up, while other kids got to play outdoors and have fun all day, I had to stay at home and help around the house. It drove me crazy. As I got older, the struggle never ended. There was hardly any money for anything I wanted to do. And I couldn't go anywhere because I always had to help with random things. I hated it. So the moment I turned 18, I left the house and never looked back. So you see, I know what it's like living with a disabled family member. And I was not gonna go through that again with our daughter. I can't believe that you treated your mother like that. Oh, daughter. And even if you didn't want to be with her or love her, I would have. Because we agreed on something, at least I thought we did, that every child needs unconditional love. Yeah, that sounds great, Marcus, but you have no idea how difficult it is. Seeing your daughter fall behind in school, never being able to play sports, never having any friends. I was not gonna deal with that burden. Burden? Who was that? I'm sorry, Rose, but you took this way too far. And I am not gonna let you get away with it. What did you do? There's so much that I would like to say to you. But what I want you to know the most that raising Olivia has never been a burden. It's been a blessing. And I have loved every second of it. And contrary to what you said, she is great in school. She's a top player in her test league. And she has so so many friends who love her. And she has certainly most never been a burden. I feel sorry for your mother that she had a daughter like you because that is never the way that I would treat a loved one. You told her? What were you thinking? Do you have any idea what's gonna happen now? She's not the only one I told. Ma'am, you're under arrest for personality, a medical professional, and kidnapping. No, 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 you guys have this all wrong. It's too late, we heard everything. Oh, no, let go of me! Come with us. Marcus, how could you do this? You have the right to remain silent. This is all your fault! Anything you say can't be the guest in court of law. You guys can come out now. Pamela. I know that this is not gonna undo 11 years. I'm so sorry that we took something from you that 
you can ever have back like raising your daughter. Olivia is my daughter. But so is... Daddy, what's happening? And where did Mommy go? Mommy is going to be gone for a while. Okay, and I'll explain everything to you later. But I know this is hard to take. But Pamela is your mom. She's your biological mother. Hi. Sweetie, um, I know that this must be a lot to take in. But look. They connect? Mm-hmm. Listen, now that I know, I, I would love to be part of her life, but I completely understand if, if you don't. No. Are you kidding? Of course I want to be. Hi, Olivia. Um, it's so nice to meet you again. I held you when you were first born. My name's Marcus, and I'm your dad. He, you are? Does that mean the other Olivia's my sister? Yay, I've always wanted a sister. <laughs> Daddy, did I tell you I got an A on my English test today? Oh, you did? Well, I gotta tell you, I'm not surprised. Why are we here again? Oh, well, there's someone here that I think that you would love to meet. Can I help you? Hi, uh, you must be Rose's mom. I'm Marcus, uh, her ex-husband. Okay. Uh, I figured that you'd like to meet your granddaughters. It's their birthday. Oh my goodness, I have granddaughters? Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing them to me. <laughs> You can't imagine how much this means to me. Is, is my daughter here as well? Uh, that's a long story. If you let us in, I have a lot to tell you. That sounds great to me. Hi. Come on in. I am really seeing some beautiful work in this class. Wow. I must be a very good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some masterful brush strokes, Morgan. Now, I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's finished. Mm -hmm. As am I. <laughs> As am I. Man, I have no chill. Well, all right, you lovelies, listen up. As a reminder, in two days, I will be choosing one of your projects to put on display in the window of my studio. Now, I don't want to brag or anything, but this place has quite the reputation, you know. And I just happen to know a lot of gallery owners and art agents who are always eager to see what's in my window. Hey, I heard that the last person that had their work in the window, they immediately got representation. Now they own their own art studio in LA. Oh, really? That would be a dream come true. Beautiful work, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. You don't happen to know who the artist is, do you? I do, it's me. I'm Charlie Pitt. Wait, the, the art agent? Oh my goodness, hi, I'm Morgan. Uh, Morgan, you're one of the most talented artists I've ever had the pleasure to meet. It would be an honor to represent you. That is, if you're seeking representation. Yes, I am, thank you. Hi, heading to Los Angeles? I am. Hello everyone, welcome to my art studio. If you have any questions about the art, you can always ask the artist, which is me. <laughs> this is marvelous. Yes, it's so inspiring as well. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that one's my favorite, but this is also one that I have recently been- Morgan, I- Morgan. Morgan. 
Oh, <laughs> hey, Rory. Hey, um, I just had to come over and tell you that this is looking incredible. Oh, thank you. But I don't know. I feel like it's missing a little something here. Maybe some mauve? Oh, I love that idea, but I don't have that color paint, though. Oh, I have some mauve. I'll go get it. Sweet, thanks. Yeah. It's ruined. Morgan, I, I am so sorry. You ruined it. I didn't mean to. I swear it was, it was an accident, and I don't think it's ruined. I, no, it is absolutely ruined. I can't salvage this. Do you know how long it took me to paint it? Never mind the weeks it took to sculpt it. I know, I know, but well, maybe we can oh, just... Oh, tell me what just happened. Rory just spilled paint all over my art project. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, Maureen. I, I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, you didn't. And now I have two days to fix this. Thanks for ruining my chances for ever getting discovered or making it as an artist. Morgan, I know Rory's character, and I know you do too. I'm sure he didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. And besides, uh, listen up, class. I want everyone to hear this. There's always a way to turn a setback into a success. This is beyond a setback. Like, I spent weeks on this, and now I only get two days before you decide which art project has to be displayed. Like, I don't have time to start something new. You can do it. I can help. I think you helped enough. Now I have to start over. Morgan, Morgan! Well, I'm out of here for the night. Now I actually have a life outside this place, if you can believe it. <laughs> I understand. I'll wrap up. Oh, no, no, no. You can stay if you want. Just be sure to lock up after, oh, and turn off the AC. Keys? Right there. Thanks, Teach. Oh. And at some point, eat something soon, all right? And get some sleep. Good night. Night. You can do it. Thank you. <sighs> Let me guess. Sam texted you, didn't he? First of all, good job on calling me instead of him. You did the right thing. Yeah. What's up? What's wrong? I just... It's been a rough day. Uh-oh! Uh, no, 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 no. We are not going to let a bad day lead us down the path of bad decisions. I know you might be feeling down, and attention from your ex doesn't sound like a bad idea, but it's a bad idea. I know. Need I remind you why you guys broke up? This is Sam we're talking about here, okay? Immature, selfish, the world revolves around me and my wants. Sam, you do remember all that about him, yes? I remember. <laughs> of course, silly. I'm your girlfriend. Yeah, I know. But I mean it. I mean, your art is really special, and I think the world should see you. That's sweet. That's the truth. Hey, um, I got you something. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> spray paint. Nice. You know, I could always use more paint, so thank you. Uh, I mean, you should use it. Okay, I will. No, I mean like right now, hey, right here. I mean, if you do a little something on this wall, just think about all the people that's gonna see it. I don't know. This is someone's business. There are places where graffiti is cool, but this is not one of them. I can get in a lot of trouble. But there is a ton of people that walk on this street. You could go viral, like, like Banksy type viral. That would be nice. No, 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 I, no, no. I, I hey, 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 Morgan, Morgan, listen, hey. Look, I believe in you and your work, but I also believe that you need to do whatever it takes to get ahead in this world. Okay, whatever it takes to stand out. Emphasis on the whatever it takes. The question is, is how bad do you want it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's it. Y'all, I can tell this is gonna be epic. Right here, they keep going. Okay. Sam, what do we do? Defacing private property? Not a good idea. 
I I'm so sorry. It, it wasn't my idea. Mm-hmm. Sure it wasn't. You're coming with me. Let's go. That guy is no good, Morgan. He left you there. You had to pay a huge fine and do community service hours for something that was his idea. And what did he have to do? Nothing. It was his idea, but I still did it. Wait, you would have never done it if it wasn't for him. I know that. Girl, I am so proud of you for breaking up with him after that. And you are much better off without that toxic energy in your life. Believe me, you do not need to be talking to him, okay? Now or ever, really. I know, I just... He's always believed in me and loved my art. Okay, so do I. So do plenty of people. Honey, you don't need him. I know. You're right. Of course I'm right. I'm glad you called, but uh, I gotta split. Yeah, me too. I got a lot of work to do. Hey, don't work too hard or do something dumb like call Sam. I won't. <laughs> Hey, you. Hey, welcome to the stew. Is that short for studio or? It is. <laughs> um, come on in. Wow. wow. This art is really cool. This must be an advanced class you're taking. Something like that. No, oh, I can't wait to see yours. I mean, I'm sure it's the best. Looks like you just got started. Yeah, that's because I did. I was working on another art project and I loved it, but one of the guys accidentally spilled paint on it and ruined it, so now I have to start over. That really sucks, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, especially because my teacher's gonna pick which art project is displayed in two days and I am not gonna finish in time. Well, was it an accident? Oh, yeah, Rory wouldn't do that on purpose. <laughs> sure you don't think so. But people will do anything to get ahead. Rory's not like that. Nah, everybody's like that. Either you play the game or you get left behind. So, what's it gonna be, Morgan? Are you gonna play the game or are you gonna get left behind? <laughs> what game? What are you talking about? Look, this other student clearly sabotaged you. All right, they can tell that you were undeniably the best student in the classroom and that you were obviously gonna win the contest. I, I don't think so. No, I know so. Look, people are selfish. And if you're not selfish too, then you'll never be a winner. That's really harsh, Sam. Yeah, well, the truth is harsh. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna play the game or not? <laughs> what does that even mean, play the game? How? The revenge game. All right, he ruined your art and your chances of winning, so you should do the same to him. I'm not sure. I mean, it's only fair. Like, if you don't do anything, then he's just gonna get away with everything. Look, I guess that's true. If he did it on purpose. Oh, he definitely did. So which one is his? Is it that one? Is it that one? It's that one. Oh. Doesn't look half bad. These screws do seem a little bit weak, though. You didn't happen to know where I could find a drill around here. I got one. That should do it. Once he places that on top of there, kablooey. Say goodbye to whatever you, you call this thing. Hmm, I'm seeing a lot of progress. 
I see you made the most of your night last night. Thanks. I don't think it'll be finished in time, though. Morgan, you should always make art for art's sake, not for any one person's approval. Hey, Morgan. I just wanted to say that I feel horrible about yesterday. And I know I can't make it right, but I got you this to say I'm sorry. So now you don't have to borrow mine next time. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Your piece was beautiful. Well, it's all ruined now. Well, I'm going to give you the same piece of advice I gave to Morgan. There's always a way to turn a setback into a success. That is true. You got this. Thanks, teacher. Already done for the day? No, I'm, I'm just going to make a quick phone call. Okay, so the good news is I finally blocked him. Well, what's the bad news? It's kind of a long story. I have time to spill. <sighs> okay, so... Wow. I generally believe people can change, but... Sounds like Sam hasn't changed at all. I'm proud of you for finally deleting his number. Proud of me? I watched him sabotage my friend's artwork. I'm just as bad as he is. Just because you did a bad thing doesn't mean you're a bad person, all right? There's still time to make it right. You should tell the truth and apologize. I guess so. Listen, we're all influenced by the people around us. So just make sure the people around are solid, okay? Okay. Thanks, Brianna. You're solid. Oh, I know I am. So are you. Don't lose sight of that, all right? Hey, um, I just have to say that, uh, do, do you need any help? Honestly, yeah, yeah, I could use some help. Oh, no, what about your piece? Oh, there's no way I'm gonna finish tomorrow. And besides, yours is looking great. I should have done what you did instead of throwing mine in the trash. You live and learn, right? <laughs> right. Well, okay, if you're sure. Um, can you hand me that piece down there? Yeah. You got it. Thanks. I think this could be shoulder. I'm not sure. Today's the day. Now please keep in mind that if your peace isn't chosen, don't stop. Keep pushing. Keep pursuing. Keep making art. Don't let any single no stop you. And with all that said, I have made a decision. Rory, 
Well done. Me? <laughs> You're choosing mine? <laughs> you took my advice and you turned a setback into a success. And you created a masterpiece. Congratulations, Rory. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I couldn't have done this without you, Morgan. So, thank you for all of your help. Rory, I... There's something I need to tell you. I will... My ex tampered with the platform, and that's why it broke. Okay, I, I told him you had spilled paint all over my art project, and he convinced me that you had done it on purpose, and so I let him do it, and, and, and I am so, so sorry. Morgan, I... Look, and I understand if you hate me or never want to talk to me ever again, I would too, and no, so... I, I'll admit that I'm pretty shocked to find out that that was you. But with your help, I was able to make something way better than what I was working on before. And I understand. I've made some questionable decisions myself, especially when it comes to my exes. Thanks for understanding. You're a solid friend. So tell me what's going on with this guy here. I'm gonna need your help. Yeah, I need some more. Yeah. <laughs> Stunning, isn't it? It is. You don't happen to know who the artist is, do you? Well, I do actually. It's my best friend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> perfect timing. Rory, this man was just asking about you. This is the artist, Rory. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Rory. Nice to meet you. You're one of the most talented artists I've ever had the pleasure to meet. It would be an honor to represent you. That is, if you're seeking representation. Yes, yeah, that is that is amazing, thank you. But actually, uh, this art piece was a collaboration between me and my friend Morgan here. Is it? Well then, I'd be thrilled to represent both of you. Are either of you interested in potentially relocating to Los Angeles? Uh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. You both might want to consider having a roommate. Rent's pretty high out there. Well, what do you think? You want to be my roommate? Wait, really? Even after what I did? You're a solid friend, Morgan. You do have questionable taste in men, but you're solid overall. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Okay, well, where do we sign? <laughs> I can't believe you're giving up cheerleading to go out for the football team this year. The girls are gonna be so bummed about losing you. You're our best flyer. I know, but you guys are totally gonna kill it without me. I just don't wanna be rooting from the sidelines anymore. I've been playing football since I was like five. I wanna be on the field. Well, maybe you should listen to Bianca. I mean, it would be kind of weird having my girlfriend be the only girl on the team with me. Donnie, you know how bad I've been wanting to play. You should be more supportive. All right, girls, have That's my cue. Are you sure you don't want to go with Bianca? It's not too late to change your I'm mind. positive. But good luck. Be sure to nail a few fips for me. Hey, coach. Donnie, my boy, fall in line and... Uh... Cheerleading trials is that way, sweetheart. Uh, I'm actually here for football. <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is my girlfriend, Kate. She plays in a flag football league, and she's actually pretty good. You play football? Yeah, quarterback. I've been playing since I was a kid. You look familiar. Did you used to come to the games last year? Uh, yeah, I was at every game. I was a cheerleader. That's it. The little pom-poms. Actually, I was a flyer, so I did all the stunts and acrobatics. <sighs> Look, a cheerleader trying to play football, and I thought I'd seen it all. Look, you seem sweet, but please save me the trouble of cutting you and go across the field, okay? There's nothing in the rule book that says a girl can't play. No, but this isn't some friendly flag football game. This is tackle. Real stakes. I can handle myself. You don't understand. You'll get creamed. These guys are twice your size. And if you let me try out, I'll prove to you that I'm twice as good. I like the confidence. Okay. Let's see what you're made of, flyer. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on. High knees, high 
fighting time is not come on man come on let's go come on come on there we go there we go i like that i like that yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go quickly hide these hide these nice i like her What's everyone looking at? They just posted who made the final cut for football and cheerleading. Oh my god. I didn't think I'd be this nervous. What if I didn't make the team? You are better than most of the boys at tryouts. There's no way you didn't make it. Ready? Ready. Yes, I made it! What about you? I didn't make it. What? Let me see that. Are you kidding me? Schwartz made it over you? The kid with asthma? That's complete garbage. Kate, did you make it? What? There's no way. But you were so good. That's got to be a mistake. I mean, no, coach doesn't make mistakes. And you made it, I made it. Oh, I'm sorry. Come here. There's always next year, right? Why don't you let me take you out tonight, huh? I'm not really in the mood. I could talk to Coach Guzman, see if there's any space left on the squad. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go. I don't want to be late. Bye, Ben. Take it easy. See you, Donnie. Bro, that's crazy. Kate's a really good player. Yeah. She's a big girl. She'll be all right. Hey, honestly, it's better this way. Unless we made the team, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Catch you later. after school today to help me out with some cheer stuff. I'm trying to nail a few flips and I could really use a spotter. I can't, I'm sorry. I'm going out with Donnie after school. Oh, touchdown! Hey, there's my girl. Hi. Hmm. So, don't be mad, but I'm gonna have to cancel for tonight. Really? I heard about the movie tickets. I'm sorry, Ben and I are gonna practice. I gotta focus if I'm gonna be the new QB. <laughs> Actually, have you thought about trying out again? You know Josh is out for the season. Now why would she? If coach didn't want her then, he won't want her now. No offense, babe. You're just a stickler. You know that. You never know. Look, for what it's worth, I think you'd be great. I appreciate that. But if I can't be QB, it might as well be Donnie. Especially since it's senior year, mm. last year before college. It's settled then. You know, I think you're making the right choice by not going for it. The last thing I'd want to see is for you to fail again. Catch you later. I guess I'm free after all. You got this. Come on, you gotta commit. Here. Like this. Ah! Yes, girl, you are so talented. Are you sure you don't want to go out for QB again? Might be different this time around. As long as I'm a girl, I don't think anything's gonna change for Coach Jansen. I just wish he could see me for my talent instead of as some cheerleader. What if he could? 
I'm not following. What if we can make him see you for your talent? What if he tried out again, but this time as a guy? No, that's crazy. We could put you in a wig, some makeup, maybe even a prosthetic. You'd be a football bro in no time. <sighs> okay, even if I were to agree to this, which I'm not, I'd have to create a whole new identity and enroll in school. It's too complicated. Plus, we could get in trouble. You could come in as a transfer student. You can use my cousin Kyle's info. He's out of state. They never put two and two together. How would I be able to be two people at once? Kyle would still have to go to class and stuff. There's only three weeks until the Newman game. We just have to pull it off until then. After the championship game, Kyle moves. You miraculously recover. No one would ever know. About my parents. You leave the house as Kate. Change before you get to school. And same going back. No, it's too nuts. Just nuts enough. Come on. Do you want to keep sitting alone in the stands cheering for your boyfriend? Or do you want to be down on the field playing? I've always said, if you set your mind to something, you can do anything. This is your chance to show those guys that even a girl can beat their butts. <laughs> masterpiece yet. <laughs> no, just give it a rest, Andy. Donnie might be the only option we have, so... Uh, coach? What can I do for you, kid? Why are you wearing a helmet? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Kyle Carson. I just transferred here. I saw you were holding trials for quarterback. I played at my old school. You play quarterback? A little small, aren't you? Maybe, but what I lack in size, I make up for speed. Who is that? I have no idea. Yo, her kid is sick with bronchitis. She okay? I'm sure she'll be fine. Okay, so do you want us to get her a card or something? I don't know, some soup? No, I texted her. It's good enough. <sighs> nice throw. Try again. Yo, he looks good. You're more like a lucky throw. Hey, Donnie, guard Ben and play defense. Let's see what Kyle's got. You should be fun. Let's get it. Set. Hey! Hey, you're supposed to guard Ben, not tackle Kyle. Let's do it again. He's not such a good quarterback if he gets tackled so easily. You okay? Let me help you up. I can't believe you do that. Yeah, that's just how some dudes are. Set. Hi. Stay on the ground. Oh. 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 Okay. Yo, that was cold. <laughs> Boom. Who needs ground? You can fly. Right? Oh. Okay. Nice. I couldn't believe it. It's like he was a totally different person. Was Donnie a totally different person, or has he just been that way all along? Congrats, man. What? Oh, what's going on? Did you not hear? You're the new QB, bro. Oh my god! 
actually did it, bro. It's wild. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Donnie? What? Hey, he's a quarterback. He could take a hit. Right, Kyle? I don't think Kyle uh, here appreciates it, and I know Kate wouldn't. Well, Kate's not here right now. Is she? Are you okay? That was a hard hit. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll meet you in class. Looks like you need a hand again. Thanks, man. So what happened? Sorry about Donnie, he's just jealous. Is he always like that? I mean, he usually keeps himself in check when his girlfriend's around, but she's out sick. Well, if he keeps this up, he's gonna have a lot of explaining to do to her. Oh, he doesn't even deserve her. What makes you say that? Man, I wish you could meet her. Kate is a great cat. She's like the coolest chick in school and doesn't even realize it. Smart, athletic, funny. Make sure this stays between you and I, okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, secret safe with me, bro. You all right with me? What are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be in bed? I just got back from the doctor. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, Ben's been telling me I should come check on you. It's been a couple weeks, so I figured I should. Took Ben telling you? Never mind. I sent you a text last week. It's a big deal. <laughs> Look, Donnie, I've had a lot of time to think about everything. And I just don't think- Oh, I knew it. You're breaking up with me, aren't you? Bianca texted me about how you've been treating some new kid, Kyle. That loser? What's he got anything to do with us? How you treat him, and if I'm being honest, how you've treated me, just made me realize that you and I don't work. Are you kidding me right now? I told you I was sick and you didn't even bother to check on me or send me a card or anything. Nobody sends cards anymore. Ben did. When did you become so sensitive? I'm not. I just opened my eyes to who I was dating. I don't like what I see. If we're breaking up, I want my hoodie back. Your hoodie? Fine, give me a minute. this is it. The entire season has been leading to this very moment. I need everyone to bring their A-game today. Kyle, I've been very impressed on what you've been showing me out on the field. You might be the best quarterback we've had in a very long time. I need you to keep bringing that fire, okay? Yes, sir. Marcos, don't let them gain an inch. The Great Wall of China ain't got nothing on you, you hear me? And Donnie! Where's Donnie? Sorry, coach. I got caught up. I don't care about your excuses. All the other guys managed to get here on time. Guys, <laughs> right? Excuse me? I just think it's a funny way to describe a group of people, right? I mean, don't you think? Guys, it could be used to describe a group of boys, or in this case, used to describe a group of guys and a girl. Son, what are you talking about? I'm trying to point out that we have a traitor in our midst. Someone you all trusted. Someone I even trusted. She goes by the name of Kate. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Or is it Kyle? Dude, what is he talking about? Go on. Show him, Kyle. Oh, my God. Oh. What? 
gotten her? I know this must be weird for some of you, for all of you, but I can explain. After I got cut at tryouts, I was really bummed. When Josh got hurt and you guys needed a new quarterback, it seemed like an opportunity for me to prove myself, to prove that I was good enough to play with the guys. But I knew that to do that, I didn't just need to be as good as you. I needed to be one of you. So, for the past few weeks, I haven't been Kate. I've been Kyle. Kate? Kyle? Either way, you're a liar. Talent doesn't lie. Otherwise, you'd be quarterback right now. Oh, Rose! All right, all right. I've heard and seen enough. Kyle, I mean, Kate, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to bench you. What? And Donnie, you're stepping in as QB. Are you kidding me? I'm better than he ever was and you know it. It's my call. You're out and he's in and that's it. We're gonna go to the principal's office first thing Monday morning to see what she wants to do and how to handle this little scheme of yours. I guess you should have stuck to your pom-poms and flips, sweetheart. Get out of the boys' locker room. We have a game to win. Donnie's getting pwned out there. Well, unless Tom Brady shows up, this is what we gotta work with. Well, there is another option. No. No, 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 no. Hey, get out there. Why not? You know she's good. I am not putting a cheerleader out on the field. She's a quarterback, and she's the best chance we've got. <sighs> you know she could beat them. You have any idea what that looks like? Putting the girl out there? But what would you rather do, lose with a guy or win with a girl? It's not much time left, coach. It's either now or never. Find her. Really? Go get her before I change my mind. Kate! Kate! Ben? Kate! What's going on? You're in. What? We need you. Suit up. Let's go. Don't make me regret this flyer. What are you doing? Are you kidding me right now? Sorry, sweetheart. All right. We got time for one more play. What's the plan? You think you can hold them off for me? I'm going to show them what a cheerleader can do. Let's get it. Ready? Ready! No, you did it. You believed in me from the beginning. I couldn't have done this without you. See, that's not true. You're the one that actually... <laughs> <laughs> Coach. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I came over here to say thanks. That was really something. I appreciate you saying that. I'll tell you what. How about we forget the trip to the principal's office on one condition? What's that? That you play for me again next year. <laughs> I think I can do that. Okay. <laughs> Good job out there. Back to me, back to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Excuse me. Can you tell us if this is where the tryouts are? Uh, yeah, cheers over there. Oh, we're not here for cheerleading. We're here for football. Really? We saw you play last year and wanted to try out. Yeah, you shocked everyone. First female quarterback in the school's history. And captain. I hope by the time I make varsity, I'll be as good as you. Well, as someone very wise once told me, if you put your mind to something,